Welcome to our lecture online. In this video, we're going to talk about the Planck radiation law, also known as the black body radiation curve. It is quite a complicated equation, but it does describe the intensity of the radiation per unit wavelength of a black body in space or a black body in any situation. It's what the radiation curve looks like from a particular object. Now, it looks like a very messy equation, and all we're going to do here is take a look at the units of the equation to see if it makes sense. Let's start with the denominator here. We have an exponent, e to the exponent minus 1. So, the units of this better be unitless. Well, let's find out if it is. We have the Planck's constant in there, we have the Boltzmann constant in there, which are defined over here. Now, for the exponent, let's see what units we have. H has units of joules times seconds. C has units of meters per second. That's the numerator divided by the denominator. We have units of wavelength, which is meters, units of the Boltzmann constant, which is joules per kelvin per molecule. If we use R, it would be per mole, but here's per molecule. And T is the temperature in kelvin. So notice that the kelvin cancels out over here and second and second cancels out over here, and meters in the numerator and meters in the denominator cancels as well. Wow, a lot is canceled. Let's see what we have left. Well, actually, I have a joule in the numerator and a joule in the denominator. That cancels as well, and we're left with just one. No units at all, just like what we expected, which is good, because otherwise we couldn't subtract one from it, then the units wouldn't make sense here. All we have left now is the units for this portion of the equation. So let's write equation and see what the units are. In the numerator we have Planck's constant, the units are joules times seconds, and we have the speed of light squared, which would be meters squared per second squared. So let's put second squared in the denominator. So it would be meters squared per second squared for c squared. And then we have wavelength to the fifth power. That would be meters to the fifth power. All right, well, we don't need to put it there, but that's fine. So now we have meter squared and meter to the fifth power. So this cancels out and this becomes meters cubed. We have second to the first power, second to the second power. That cancels out. And what do we have left? Well, we have in the numerator, we have joules. And in the denominator, we have, well, seconds and meter cubed. Now, joules per second, those are units for watts. And we're expecting to get intensity in terms of watts per square meter, but we have watts per cubic meter. So let's talk about that just a little bit. So I have watts per cubic meter, but actually I'm going to write as meter squared times meter because this here, watts per square meter, is indeed units of intensity, but the way the Planck radiation curve is written, it's in terms of intensity per wavelength, because you have different intensities for different wavelengths, it's not for a specific wavelength, it's across the board all the wavelengths, so this would be intensity, watts per square meter, per wavelength, and so that is indeed correct units. There's one more unit in there, which is really a non-unit part of the equation, which, of course, doesn't show up because it's in terms of radians, and radians have a non-unit. It turns out we also must multiply this over 1 over radians squared because it is intensity per wavelength per steradian, which is a radian square, so it would be an angle of a radian by a radian in the sky, for example, if we get radiation from a particular object. And so you can see then that the equation does indeed have the correct units for what it was meant to do. This was a big part, doing the analysis of the units was a big part in actually coming up with the equation because, uh, after all, the units always have to make sense or your equation is simply not valid. This simply shows that even though this may not be the correct equation, it is correct in terms of the units. And after all, when they did enough analysis, that was indeed the correct equation to describe the black body radiation curve. And that's how it's done.